In race number seven now, and at this stage, we've got the shortest priced favourite of the night going around in this. It is also the trophy race, the St George's Challenge Cup. Beauty Tycoon, not worse than fourth in this class. O-Liner makes his Happy Valley debut. Your My Everything is a three-time course and distance winner. Wings of War, cheek pieces off, blinkers go on. Jolly Ruler wears blinkers for the first time. Mayhem from the 1,000 to the 1,200 metres. Compassion Spirits won four times over the 1,200 at the Valley. Nem Jong Sing's no tongue tie this week, Tom. That short price favourite is Hoss, horse number seven. And where does he settle on the speed map? Yeah, he's going to get a nice run through on the fence, is Hoss, especially from barrier number two. But O-Liner could lead to this up. Uh, went forward last uh, time out. That was uh, at... Uh, uh, Shartan over the 1,200 metres and uh, dropped away in the straight. Beauty Tycoon from Barrier 3. Uh, Victory Scholars might have to uh, come across from Barrier 5. He steps up in grades uh, here. Nam Jong Singh's Compassion Spirit. Party Warrior also a little awkwardly drawn for. Yeah, he has, so he, he's going to be towards the back. Wings of War's got blinkers on for the first time. He's, he seems to have improved in his work with those. You're my everything that will get back and mayhem too. Jamie Richards has been absolutely flying. Certainly in Happy Valley is one of the venues where he's been racking up the winners and he trains the likely favourite in Hoss. Jamie Hoss is a horse that's been in very good form. Uh, had his first go in this grade last time and he, and he just touched off but comes to the races in, in pretty good heart. Yeah, he's uh, racing consistently. We found the key to him, just got to ride him a little bit quiet and he seems to like Happy Valley. So. Um, he's maintained his fitness well, he just had a tick over trial the other day, just cruised around there and heads back to the races in, in good shape again. I know he only just got beat, it's probably hard, probably hard push to say that he didn't handle it, but it was good to yield in ground last time, first time he's raced on it. Were, were the reports from Zach that he, he did handle it and he went through it okay? Well, Zach felt like he didn't quicken up as good as he right. can, um, so maybe he thought it could have been the ground, but also first time in class three, so there was a couple of different things changed for his last run. Um, obviously nabbed on the on the line by a progress of horse, um, but he toughed it out, he, he didn't throw it away, so um, yeah, he, he, as I say, he goes back to the races in good order, he's got a nice draw, um, hopefully the pace is on and, and it can set it up for something to come from just off them a little bit. Handicap is all fit to put him up three, he'll carry an extra five in this, so I guess in retrospect for him not getting beaten that far, you sort of got to take that on the chin I suppose. Yeah, the handicap is uh, a bit tough at the moment, but uh, anyway, that's that's what happens when your horses are racing well, so um, hopefully he can continue on, and obviously he's by Fiorento, so he's bred to get a little bit further, and we would like to stretch him out a little bit more at some stage, but uh, he's been racing so well at 1200, we don't... I think we need to change anything just yet. I know he's, he's a bit heavier, this horse, Jamie. Obviously, you say young, inexperienced horse. So is, he, is he still just sort of maturing and filling out a bit? Well, his, his weight sort of fluctuated a little bit over his last three or four runs. He's sort of down 20, and then he's sort of up a bit again for this for this race. So I'm, I'm not too concerned. I was mindful of trying to get a little bit of condition back on him. Um, but he's certainly been eating well and training well. He's, he's done the work that, uh, you know, hopefully he needs to do to be competitive. His last three runs have all been on the A course as well. They get the A course again Wednesday night, so he's, he's operated well, and I guess that certainly bodes well. Yeah, back to the fresh fresh ground there, so um, can race a little bit tight, but hopefully he can get out and get his chance. That roll back in from the C plus three of last Wednesday night. Jolly Ruler runs fourth in this replay. Paul, could he replicate the win from two starts ago? I think he can. I mean, I've got him in there, not on top. I, I think Haas is going to be very hard to beat, but it was a really good run two starts ago. He was wide here. And he finished off uh, nicely for fourth. Blinkers on for the first time. Yeah, I think considering the run he had, uh, where he was wide uh, the whole trip uh, and where he's run in the end, uh, which was uh, fourth, it was a, a strong effort in the end. You can see he's quite tired there at uh, the back end. But um, yeah, all that ground he covered, no wonder he was tired and the blinker should hopefully help. Up in grade, Tom comes Victory Scholars. Finally broke through for his second win last time. Has struggled a bit in Class 3, though. Yeah, and obviously he's another one that hasn't put two together in the, the past. And he pretty much had every chance, I thought, last time. He had that really good run on the, the trail. Kept on kicking when he looked like he was probably going to be headed to here, Paul. But I think just up in grade might find him out again. Yeah, third time up in grade, isn't it? And uh, look, I, I didn't include him in the end. I thought that was his win there. Right, keep an eye on Victory Scholars this week. But it's at H055 that wins race number seven, Paul. <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, he's on top, uh, Hoss. I think uh, uh, he's going to start a short price favourite, though, but I think he can win. A Jolly Ruler with the blinkers on. Going to go a bit rogue for the third selection. It's O-Liner. Now, here's the outside of the field at the moment. He, he's a horse. He's an on-pace runner, and I think if he can get to the front dictate, the smaller course should really help him. 
He has won leading from the front in Australia in the past. So uh, barrier nine, just to query how, how much he has to work to get across. But if he's in front turning for home, I think he'd give a bit of a sight. Dropped away as three wide on his debut run in, at Shantan. And Wings of War, he trolled on that blinkers. It was that flying ace blink, uh, troll, Wings of War. And with, that, uh, with the blinkers on, he's third up now. I think it was a, a lot better from him, so I expect a better running. 7-5-2-4. Seven and five, my uh, Quinella here as uh, well. I think uh, Hoss uh, should be too good to here, but Jolly Rule, I think, has to be respected with the the blinkers going on. Beauty Tycoon's off a rating of 78. His last one was off 73 and wasn't beaten too far behind Nordic uh, Dragon. Uh, did dead heat there for fourth. And Party Warrior, just a matter of where he ends up from barrier 12. Uh, they bring him back from 1650 to 1200 metres, which I think uh, should suit. And he's off his last roundabout, his last winning mark, 66. Seven, five, one and nine. It's all about Hoss to win race number seven, the first leg of Wednesday night's second treble.